Okay, now that it's connected, you can see our cameras here. We've got a few cameras connected on the system. Uh, on the left-hand side, you can see the MVR, and you can see that there are three cameras plugged into it. You can drag these cameras to any window that you need to across these, uh, these four channels here. Or if you have more than four cameras connected, you can choose different layouts. So three camera layout, if you're doing corridor mode, you can do a four channel layout with one larger up here and the rest smaller. Uh, there's a few different layout options you can use. And then if you have a layout that you like configured that you would like to you know, show all the time, you can save that layout down here. So if you rearrange your cameras a specific way and you wanna save that, you can just click save view down here and that'll save that view going forward. You can close all the windows here. You know, if you're looking at a bunch of cameras and you wanna close them all at once, you can just hit close all window and then just drag the ones you want back over. And then you've got a snapshot all. So if you're seeing multiple things happening or if you just wanna take a snapshot across all your devices at one time, you can just click that snapshot all button. And then I'll create a snapshot here and save it in a folder that you can then open and you know, transfer to a drive or you know set as a wallpaper or whatever you'd like to do with that. You've also got manual recording and to turn off manual recording. So essentially you can record a segment straight to your computer's hard drive if you see something that your MVR may not be recording. These two functions don't interfere with the recording on the MVR. These are completely independent and let you capture something on the fly that you think you might wanna save. If you're not sure if the MVR is capturing it, or if there's no hard drive in the MVR, or if you just want to save it onto the computer directly so you don't have to back it up off the MVR at a later date, you can use those functions for that as well.